Stop in office. My name is Lucas Quan Peters, and I'm a food columnist for the LA Times. I'm Jen Harris. I'm a food writer at the LA Times. Um, and we are here today to present to you Fake Meat Fast Food Burger Showdown 2020. <laughs> so we have two of the more prominent uh, fake meat burgers that are currently available on the market, the Impossible Whopper from Burger King, the Beyond Meat Barbecue Cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. The Western, known as the Western. Yes, and then we have, as a control, we have uh, just a regular old quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's. How much do they actually taste like meat? And then we're gonna tell you which of the fake ones taste better. What do you think of the fake meat uh, uh, trend thing? Uh, have you been noticing it, seeing it? Yeah, because it's everywhere. Yeah. Um, there are plant-based burger places popping up in LA. Okay. Monty's Good Burger Monty's being one Good of burger, them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is, has infiltrated into the fast food world. Let's try first. As a control, so we know what beef <sighs> tastes like, so we know what beef tastes like, a quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's. Okay. Okay. And it's definitely not been sitting here for hours. Beef. Aging beef is all the rage. You all know what beef tastes like. I'm gonna have to tell you. Um, but now let's try this Impossible Whopper from Impossible Foods. Impossible Foods is a Northern California-based company founded in 2011. They have uh, partnerships with they make fake sausage for Little Caesars. I think they have mm -hmm. something with White Castle, um, which unfortunately is hard to find in California. Does it look and smell like meat? I smell it. <laughs> it smells kind of like soy sauce. It does smell a little soy-y. Yeah. It smells like a little gassy. It smells like we are going to have gas after we eat this burger. Yeah. It's a lot tougher in texture yeah. than actual meat. It's like denser. I appreciate the sort of charry attempt yeah. at it. It's not bad. I don't think it's bad. In mm -hmm. fact, like, like, would you be able to tell visually like which was which? No. From so, the side though, you can tell it's not meat. You can tell? Yeah. It's like too perfect. The edges little, are too perfect. Yeah, it looks kind of formed in that way. Moving on to this barbecue cheese thing with from Carl's Jr. Oh, it has onion, onion rings. rings on it. Barbecue sauce. This patty looks a little thicker. Yeah, it looks more beefy. And this is the Beyond Meat Burger. Beyond Meat is a uh, Los Angeles-based company mm -hmm. that was founded in 2009, and they have partnerships with Carl's Jr. Uh, Del Taco, yeah, am among tacos. others. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. This one is a lot softer, and to me tastes more like meat. This tastes to me more, you know how like a, like you would get like a tempeh thing? Yeah. A veggie burger type thing? Mm-hmm. Oh, that tastes more like veggie burger to you. It does. This kind of tastes less like meat to me. Why does it taste more like meat to you? I think it's not the taste, it's the texture. Mm. The fact that it's kind of softer and um, not as dense. Because mm -hmm. that to me feels more like a veggie burger patty, because it's kind of harder, and this feels more like meat, but that tastes more like meat. Interesting. The Beyond versus the Impossible. This cross section looks more like meat. And we'll put the real one on top of it too. And that's a good Instagram photo right mm -hmm. there. The Impossible definitely looks more yeah. meaty. But yeah. you think that this, the, the, the texture. texture of it replicates meat more. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Impossible. Beyond. Boom. Boom. Real. Boom. <laughs> you laugh at how bad these look. And they do look really bad, but... But this is what this is what you're getting. This is what fast food actually looks like. But here, okay, when you look at just the patties though, uh, Beyond and McDonald's look the same. Is that a good thing? I don't know, but they look the same. The one thing is the price point, right? So after tax, the Impossible Burger is almost like eight bucks for a Whopper. The Beyond Meat is a little bit cheaper, but the quarter pounders with cheese, it's like two for five bucks. So. There's maybe a ways to go 
mm-hmm. getting people to eat it. But I feel I because of the price difference. But I feel like if all things being equal, if these were all the same price, why not eat pig meat? I would. I feel like this. Taste this. And then taste the bad, bad McDonald's meat. I feel like this approximates. That's pretty meaty. This approximates meat more. Yeah. This is like more. You can like taste the grains. You can like, yeah. you can like taste the little mm-hmm. bits of plant. You can taste the baby <laughs> you plants. You can taste the baby plants. That died to make this Beyond Patty. I'm mm, sorry, plants. Wait. Well, okay, but when you, yeah, if you just do the patties, yeah. that tastes the most like meat. Yeah. Impossible. Agreed. Conclusion number one, the Impossible Burger more closely resembles meat uh-huh. in taste and texture, if not appearance. There is some speculation that this might look a little more like the cooked burger. Slash it does. Right? Okay. Yeah. Would you rather eat this Carl's Jr. Beyond? Or would you rather eat the Whopper? I'd rather eat the Whopper. Impossible. Yeah, but possible. Mm. <laughs> I kind of like the Beyond Meat, but I but I definitely agree that if if we're judging by whether or not it resembles meat, Impossible wins. Stuff in the office. Did <laughs> I get Okay, ready? Go. Go ahead and I'll uh, cut.